Good morning, guys. So it is Monday here in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I am off work today. I'm off on Mondays, so it's about 8.15. I'm making some breakfast, corned beef hash. You can see that cooking on the stove, and I'm gonna have an egg with it because I'm hungry for eggs. I don't know why. But um, today, I'm gonna take you along with me because I want to make a Filipino dish that I'm craving for because a friend of mine at work, shout out to Juan, has been sending me pictures of uh, Filipino spaghetti. So that's one of my favorite Filipino dishes is the sweet spaghetti with the little red hot dogs in it and the Eden cheese on top, <sighs> so yummy. So today I'm going to go to one of the Asian markets nearby to try to find all the ingredients, the little red hot dogs and the spaghetti sauce and the banana ketchup and the little things that go in it because I've never actually made this myself. Mommy Iching always makes it when, she, when we have that spaghetti. I always make traditional Italian spaghetti, but today I'm gonna see how I do. So I know that the kids will eat it when they come back uh, this summer. So yeah, so I'm gonna have breakfast guys. And then I'm gonna take you with me to, um, I'm gonna have to go to a different Asian market than the one closest to our house because they're closed on Mondays. So that's okay. The other one's only like five miles away. So, so we'll head there later. I'll take you with me. We'll see if we can find the ingredients to make authentic Filipino sweet spaghetti with the red hot dogs in it. Mm, getting hungry already, even though I'm gonna have breakfast. So yeah, let's go guys. All right guys, so we are off to the international store. Uh, the, the Asian market I usually go to is closed on Monday. So we're off to a place called the International Store, I think its name is. Um, I don't think I've been to this store before, so I can't really remember if I have or not, but anyway. It doesn't look like it's open, but we're gonna go inside and see if they got a Filipino section. Wow. 
one eternity later. Okay, guys, we made it to the Kabayan restaurant, and they also do, uh, I have a little grocery store here. I found the three items that I came for. So I've got the spaghetti sauce, UFC brand, sweet Filipino style spaghetti sauce. And these aren't the brand of the hot dogs, but man, I hope these are still work, right? They should, they're red, they're the hot dogs. And the other secret ingredient for spaghetti sauce, Filipino style, is banana ketchup. All right, guys, so we're gonna make that tonight. See if I can master the recipe for yummy Filipino spaghetti. So when the kids all come back and mommy eating, that I will be able to make authentic, I can make pan seed. That's pretty much the only Filipino dish I've made. So, all right guys, we'll see you when we get home. Okay hey guys, so here's the ingredients that I'm going to use to make, I hope, pretty close to authentic, uh, sweet Filipino spaghetti. So that's the spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna have an onion, some banana sauce, or banana ketchup if you wanna call it. The only thing that I couldn't get at the store was um, Eden cheese. So Eden is the brand in the Philippines. And I think Eden is owned by Kraft anyway, so I think Eden and Velveeta are almost the same cheese. So basically like a soft brick of a cheese spread. Um, the red pork hot dogs. And then I'm gonna ground, um, I have a pound of ground beef. Actually, that's ground turkey because I like to eat a little bit healthier. So yeah, so we're gonna whip this all up and we'll let you guys see it. dishes you could make. Uh, spaghetti in general is super easy. So it's literally one pot for the, the water to boil the spaghetti. Um, the other pan is where you're browning your, your ground beef or you can use ground pork or ground turkey or ground chicken. I'm using ground turkey because I like turkey, ground turkey better than ground pork, less fat. Um, I'm slicing three of the little red hot dogs, the Filipino hot dogs to add to the sauce. I like to add my own garlic to spice it up a little bit. Um, and to make the sauce, this is the brand that I'm familiar with. I'm sure there's homemade ways to, to make the spaghetti sauce, but this is good stuff. And, and the secret ingredient, the banana sauce or banana ketchup, if you want to call it. So we're going to brown the ground turkey with, I'm also sauteing up some onions with it. And then I'll drain the fat off. And then I'll add the sauce, I'll add the hot dogs, and the garlic, uh, and the banana ketchup or the banana sauce. And then we'll let that simmer for like 10 minutes or so until it's nice and hot. Cook the spaghetti, boom, put it on a plate, drain the water, put it on a plate, add the, the cheese, it would be eaten. It's the authentic, but this is Velveeta, so it's pretty similar. And dinner will be served soon, probably 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, drain the fat off, and I'm going to add the uh, little red hot dogs into the pan. They go. Ooh, little red hot dogs. Little red hot dogs. Doing you much too fast. Yeah, you're probably too young to know that song. So high, I'm hypnotized 
Okay, so about a half a cup of banana sauce. I'm not a big fan of measuring some things out, so I'm just gonna pour it in. It's nice and sweet. Okay, so about 10 minutes or so, probably to heat the sauce up. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Tell me how I'm doing. Is there something I should be adding that I just didn't realize? I know some people put carrots in theirs. So I just didn't have any carrots and I'm not a big fan of carrots always. But I'm gonna get my water boiling, get my spaghetti going. And then once it's all done, yeah, baby. Let's see how Papa Tom did. About one more minute for the pasta to be al dente. And then the sauce is done. And then it's eating time. And then let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I made it right, or if you think I should make it different, or if you think my kids might not like it or might like it. I had to hide the onions because they don't like onions, but especially William, he'll see a piece of an onion like he's got x-ray vision for onions mixed into the food. I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. Oh, it's almost five o'clock. It's about the dinner time, a little bit early, but that's all right, I was thinking about this spaghetti all day, so I couldn't wait any longer to make it. Hey guys, now for the final test. I've got my cheese melting on top. It would be Eden, but I didn't have any Eden, so Velveeta's the closest thing to Eden. Look at this big plate full of Filipino yumminess. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna try it, but tell me, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm gonna drink this with a Coke because in the Philippines, Coke is life. gonna be hot. Ooh. Ooh, yummy. Oh, it looks just like I remember. Let me a little hot doggy in my bite. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah, this is good guys. Guys, this is super delicious. So um, also don't forget to follow us on our, we had to redo, we had to remake our Facebook page because our other one got taken down for some reason and we never got it back. So um, I'll put a picture of it up here. It's Cade Family 2 
then the two is II, so Cade Family II. Um, you know, please follow us there. I put all the videos up on the Facebook page that we make here and all my daily um, <clears throat> reels that I like to make, which are my funniness, my funny side that comes out. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think the uh, boys will definitely eat this. Boys, little kids are picky eaters, I'm not gonna lie. Chicken nuggets, gotta keep those in the freezer. Corn dogs, mac and cheese, more chicken nuggets. That's the go-to food when they won't eat. Um, Cause I just, I won't take them to McDonald's every day like they want. They have to learn to eat other stuff. But um, but yeah, so guys, let me know what you think. How'd I do with my sweet spaghetti Filipino style? Uh, comment down below and let me know if um, I passed the test. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later, guys.